Demon Slayer Hilo Kami Chronicles has successfully brought people who aren't familiar with playing anime arena fighter games, which is cool and all, but what I'll be noticing is that beginners make the same common mistakes online, which is causing them to lose their games. So this video, I'm going to be listing six common beginners mistakes that you should avoid so you can start getting more success online or winning your games. Now, hopefully you're familiar with one of these mistakes so you can correct it when you're playing online. By the way, if you like Demon Slayer Hino Kami Chronicles, then this channel is certainly for you. So consider subscribing as we're very close to 1k, bro. Enjoy. Alright, so for the first beginner mistake you guys make is just mashing attack button literally when it's not needed or just dashing so predictably. Basically, mashing, dashing or mashing attack when it's not needed and unnecessary. Some of you guys mash the attack button as soon as you get out of a combo and also mashing the attack button over and over again just to try apply guard pressure which is the wrong way to approach it because it's easily punishable and it's predictable. Also, you guys just mash literally in unnecessary positions in which you're not even close to your opponent and it's not even needed to mash. Please don't be that guy who just mashes unnecessarily and does just so predictably. Utilize your side steps while dashing or utilize your blockage. You can do block, you can do the, um, the switch tech, you can jump side step, you can side step. You can do that, all of that. Just the goal is just to confuse your opponent and be unpredictable. You can't be predictable when playing ranks, like because you can easily get punished. You know what I'm saying? Make your opponent work hard to punish you. You understand? Also, try to ut utilize your power attacks rather than just mashing. So when your opponent is mashing, doing that same mistake, you can do a whole power attack because it has invincibility frames in which you can punish a uh, machine from your opponent's side in it so don't make that mistake and punish your opponent that's making that same mistake you feel what i'm saying yeah 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 yeah. the second mistake beginners make is forgetting to use the parry mechanic like it's such a good mechanic like it gives you literally blue combo meaning that you can make a long combo if you can do the parry mechanic like as you can see it's so good like utilize it when your when your opponent is, is trying to match like it's like a counter type of mechanic and it's so good like you have to use this mechanic you can't forget to not use it like look it gives me a good combo like you can literally do a lot of combos if you if you um do the parry technique and obviously and normally your opponent is also gonna try get momentum on you so if your opponent is trying to get momentum on you always use the parry the, the parry tech and to Obviously, if you guys want to see an in-depth tutorial on how to do the parry, I made a video on how to do the parry consistently and without getting a pushback um, a pushback animation. But you're doing a parry rather than a pushback animation. Just check that video out. It's going to be that icon above. So yeah, use the parry because your opponent's goal is just to get, get damage on you, just get value from you, get momentum on you. So the parry technique is, is the best mechanic to counter that type of play style. And yeah, use, that's mistake number two, not forgetting to use the parry. The third mistake beginners make is that you're panicking when your opponent is applying pressure on your guard. This is the ultimate red flag because if you go on panic mode, the only thing that you subconsciously think of doing is just spamming push block or just simply blocking and not utilizing anything like side steps, um, supers, boost, whatever defense or movement mechanics or techs that you can use rather than just spamming push block or just guarding there are a lot of ways to fix this mistake for example push blocks once and then do something like boost push block into supers push block into parrying push block into ultimate or push block into power attack and many more there's so many ways to um you know what i'm saying counter guard pressure rather than just panicking and just spamming push block or just blocking at the same time which can be easily punishable and easily countered so yeah don't panic take your time and assess the situation on which tech or defense man mechanic you're going to use to counter guard pressure when needed uh, so for the fourth beginner mistake is not extending or resetting your combos the goal is to get a lot of damage or max damage on your opponent as quickly and as much damage as possible if you know what i mean so you guys have to reset your combos there's if you want a an in-depth guide on combo cancelling and extending your combos watch this video on the icon above so that it teaches you everything you need to know about extending your combos and combo cancelling and i'll show you a bit of reset combos i know of you so yeah so all you have to do is basically do the 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 water wheel and then you grab 
like and they're all fall for it like literally it's, it's such a good loop it's such a good reset loop in which it, it does good damage and everybody falls for that loop you know what i'm saying and also there's another reset combo with gi where you just do one and then you do and then you you dash and then they can't even block like even if you try block you still get reset like you guys there's so much good resets with giyu and with other um characters like rengoku makomo zenitsu whatever whatever but the goal is to get as much damage as possible so you guys need to extend your combos by by dashing and then adding um yeah like you know what i'm saying combining supers all of that but i have an extensive guide on how to extend your combos and combo cancelling anyways on um in the link in the description so yeah you guys make sure you extend your combos for max damage on your opponents as quickly as possible and avoid not extending and res and avoid not forgetting to extend and reset your combos that's that's mistake number four uh so for the fifth begin mistake that people make it's forgetting to use the surge mode when um getting level three on your awakening meter like surge mode is so op like it's actually unbalanced as fuck it's, it's, it's genuinely broken like it gives you unlimited skills unlimited support unlimited everything like you can do literally 100 percent combos and give max damage on your opponent literally you can literally one shot with this awakening awakening mechanic like you can one shot anyone like any opponent with this uh with this mode so instead of doing ultimate and plus it even provides you with ultimate it provides you with an ultimate out of world which is level three damage so you guys use the surge mode instead of like level three ultimates like the surge mode it gives you a buff of both worlds like if you want the best of both worlds which is getting the level three ultimate and getting unlimited skills on unlimited uh support then bro you have to use the surge mode because it gives you the best of both to be honest so please don't forget to use the surge mode because i see that beginners do not use the surge mode and rather just go into the level, level three ultimate art so yeah don't forget to use the surge mode that's mistake number five and the last mistake beginners make is not using the jump and sidestep mechanics properly like and rather and rather just decide to block and not sidestep for example when you're getting guard pressure by your opponent sidestep rather than just keep blocking all the time and this avoids grab mashing supers all of that literally is so good and obviously this obviously confuses your opponent as well like it confuses your company makes you unpredictable your opponent has to work on to predict what you're gonna do next to them like it's very good like sidestep is very good plus you can use sidestep to mix up your opponents and get resets even though it, it, it costs meter it's still very useful and very underutilized and you guys yeah like utilize your side steps and your jump side steps like it's very good be unpredictable like to confuse your opponents as much as you can so that they can't have a chance to even touch you like you can be untouchable with these if you use, utilize this mechanic it's very broken and you must use it so yeah that's the last mistake not utilizing your attack and yeah that's it folks leave a comment down below if i've missed any mistake that or if you want a part two to this video i'll definitely work on it if you leave a comment and yeah guys if you guys want an extensive guide on combo cancelling and extend your combos watch this video right here to give you an intense guide on how to combo cancel and how to extend your combos to get max damage and yeah guys that's pretty much it like if you like the video subscribe if you're new and yeah make sure you stay blessed i will see you guys very very soon